Are we going? Oh, we're going? We're rolling. Welcome to the world's okayest podcast. AKA Scissors Sisters. Sisters. We do hair, so hence the scissoring. I feel like people think we're very unfriendly. Is it our faces? Books. Movies. Hair. Dudes. Songs. Kids. Mom stuff. This is what it's like to spend a day with us. This is us. All day. <laughs> we're just raw dog in this thing. I had a warrant out for my arrest. I can't. You just called me a meth addict. Suck my anxiety out of my body. No, she avoided the total question. Well, that's because when you say, is this something I need to be worried about? There's like, she's like, you have to have surgery. Like that's normal people's concern. My concern is I have ick in my eye. I feel like I have that stuff. I think we're going. Oh, are we yeah. going? Yeah, we're going. Well, okay. Bookmark that for later when it's there's not a camera. So, uh, well, we'll talk about it today. Scissor Sisters podcast. Episode like, nine. Subscribe and follow. <clears throat> and uh, check out our shirts. We got merch. Yeah, we got and merch. And I brought my yeah. sticker. Uh, uh, Brenda Rogers made them for us. 417 Designs. LLC. Yeah. Um, Facebook page or she has a website she too. She has a website. And she ships. Facebook. She yep. ships. She, she does pretty much anything you yeah. like send her. My favorite thing is to find something I love on Pinterest or Etsy and be and like, make this. Find me this. And <clears throat> she makes it also yes. comfort colors. Cause yes, this is comfort colors. I'm down with the comfort colors. She, she has Gildan and, um, Bella. Bella, but I, don't I like am, those. I'm, yeah. I, I like, like the comfort colors me too. too. They're way more comfy. Yes. So she does, like, I think she can do custom, too. She can take your logo. That's oh, what she did. Yeah, but then also, if you're like, hey, I want a shirt that has something to do with this. Yeah. She, she can, can do can it. can, like, design a logo for a design for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. And she can also make stickers. Yes. And lots of other stuff. Like yeah. tumblers, Cups, hats. Oh, yeah. I've bought several tumblers mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. her. Yeah. I think she made my Hocus Pocus tumbler. Did she make my Lost Boys? I don't remember, but I, I know, know she either. posts tumblers like a lot too, like mm-hmm. cups. Yeah. Cups and- Your chair is not locked and it's bugging me. <sighs> what do you want Just me to reach do? Reach your little heel back. Excuse us. That's better. It's locked now. Okay, so book. Yes. At the risk of getting booted yeah, off the Book Talk Island, banned from from Book Talk, we've got the OG edition of Maybe Someday, and this one is the story it's we want to tell. Yeah. Like, first of all, let's go back. Okay, Maybe Someday was our first co-host. Very read. First. Yes, and we read it. Uh, I looked How many up when years it, ago? Uh, we read it when it came out, So right? 2012? 14. 2014. Yeah. Okay. So, so 10 years, years ago. ago. Yep. And I just have to say, like, Colleen Hoover didn't get the hate she got until she got no. really big. Yeah, I definitely feel like, I don't know. I was, so we read it a long time ago. We so did. We read it for book club. Refresh my memory. Mm-hmm. And so I was on Goodreads and there was a review yeah. that I was like, my gosh. Yeah. Like, tell me how you really feel. Seriously. Um, I will say the more I refreshed my memory, so it's kind of a love it triangle. Is, yes, yes, ish. Yes, the there are some like t- uh, I don't know if twist is the right word. There's some like I don't want to give it away, I know. but like it, who when you find out who everyone actually is and the connect how they're connected. That and like the <clears throat> his current girlfriend, like there's some terminal illness. Yes. And, oh or yeah. Illness. That shouldn't be and, a trigger warning. Yeah. I don't like that's I don't if I either. had a trigger warning that bothered me, it would be same, terminal illness. But let me preface it by saying that's not what this no. book is about. One it's, of the main characters does not have Terminal illness. Right, so. right, 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 right. Um, I did give it all five stars. I gave it five I stars, too, say, back in the day when we read it. I forgot how cheesy it was. Like, it's pretty cheesy. It is like pretty the, cheesy. It's romance. It's cheesy. Yeah. I don't know if I would read it today if I would give it five stars. It was... Am I going down? My, my, uh, surely not. No, right? you're not. Okay. 
Um, me either. I don't like if I read it today. I don't know that it would be five yeah. stars. And I'm not saying not she's, saying that I don't like no, it. Just that it's not. We've read different stuff yeah. and kind of progressed in our. Yeah. Life. But I still love Colleen Hoover books, and me I too. hate the hate that um, she gets sometimes. This one was really cool because I know a lot of times. Sure, I'm not sure that it's okay. Just keep an eye on it. Um, okay. A lot of times they, they'll have a playlist with a book. Yes. But this one, because it's about a musician, mm-hmm. she had a guy. Griffin um, Peterson. Yes. And he was on, I believe, American Idol. Yeah, I think so. Yes. He wrote original music specifically yes, for this. Album so for there, this book. Yeah, there's a whole playlist mm-hmm. for and this. And we went to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Right after the book came out, met her at the, that was the first time we met her at a signing. It's fine. Um, and he played the whole set acoustic yeah. live. And that so it was, was like so him and her cool. up on stage. Yes. He sang his songs and it was in like a hotel. So it was like super low yeah. key laid mm-hmm. back. Yeah, there wasn't, she wasn't that popular at that time. No. No, no. Not like she's And so, no. yeah, she she did like a Q&A up on stage mm-hmm. and then he did the, like, like the he whole, sang. Yeah, the whole set. And then, um, do you remember when we went to the bathroom? And we the, she was in the bathroom. And we're like in the stalls and we're like, oh my God, like this is so cool. And, mm-hmm. da, 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 and we like come out and we're washing our hands and she she's walks like, out and we're like... <gasps> It's Colleen Hoover. Oh my God. Yeah. Like it was funny. It was fun. And but I, I will her. forever and ever and ever. I don't care if you hate her as an author. Mm-hmm. Like we're on her cohorts Co- yeah. page. Mm-hmm. She's like one of the greatest like human beings of all time. Yes. Like, and she's hilarious. Yes. And so. we also, I think we said this, we met her at another signing at the bookworm box in her hometown of Sulphur Springs. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, she no longer has the bookworm box because I think it was like kind of all too much. She had too much going on. Yeah. But if you didn't know, all those books were donated and signed by authors mm-hmm. and sold and all the profits went to charity. Yeah. All of it. Yep. So I'm just like. And like you, if you went, if she wasn't there, her mom was there or her yes. husband was there or her kids yes. were there. Yeah. And mm-hmm. So it was cool. Yep. Yeah. I love her. I love and her I too. And I will read. She, like, romance is not my. I don't, I don't like, like cheesy romance. I We've don't said either. That before. And, like, romance is maybe not my number one, like, genre mm-hmm. to read. But she could write a article in the newspaper and I would read it. Same. Like, I, I would give read it a anything go. she mm-hmm. writes. Same. because I read her Facebook posts that are, like, this <laughs> I read long. Her Facebook and posts. normally I don't read Facebook posts that I are this long. I don't either. I scroll because, past yeah. that because I ain't nobody got time for that. Yes. Yeah, same. I. So, yeah, I also her. her books and this one, too, uh, they all, all of her books typically hook me from the very beginning. Yes, they're so. all really, like, Quick reads, mm-hmm. easy reads. They are good reading if you want just like a quick, like, mindless yeah. entertainment. Yes. I'm going to shut this off because actually idea. it is the book club, I think. Uh, yeah, book club is texting about the current read, which if Courtney ever finishes it, we will what? do a review on oh, the book club I book. finished my book last night that cool. I was reading. So, so you I are start starting tonight. the book club you book know, tonight. We, we never did announce what book we picked, I don't think, for book club because we talked about Corrupt last time. Did we say we picked? I don't think we did. I don't think we did either. So for this book club, we met a couple weeks ago and we picked, what's it called? The Final Girl Support Group. Yes, which is like a... It's horror. Like horror, but yeah. it's like set in the 90s, like 90s um, thriller. Yeah, I don't know if it's 90s or if it... No, it's not 90s. Oh, I thought you someone, said it was Well, 90s. it's like... Or it's just 90s vibes. Yeah, it's 80s. Well, they're oh, girls from the 80s, the 80s and 90s, like, ser- like uh, not serial killers, but... Uh, Slasher, like slasher films, oh, and like okay. from like the eighties. Because I know they've well, I want. I would rather talk about that when we talk about that book. Okay, but that's the book we're reading for book club. Yes, this month. Um, also, you had your appointment with Dakota today. I like did. Your face is shiny. I and got red. a naked face. Yeah. We if don't anybody know. ever wanted it, to it know, it might be glowing what? on the camera. I don't know I don't what know. I look I like on either. camera, but I have not a stitch of makeup on, and my face got 
murdered this mm-hmm. morning by Dakota. It's yeah. great, isn't it? I got it? micro-needled and a chemical peel. Mm-hmm. So it does feel very, like, taut. <laughs> like, yes, it's yeah. It's taut. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so micro-needling was uncomfortable. On the forehead especially, because yeah. it's I, like your skin is already stretched really tight. A little bit. <laughs> I got bloody chin. A little bit. That yeah. part I was like gripping the bed and she yeah. was like, I'm sorry. And I was like, just don't talk to me. Don't <laughs> let me. I gotta go. Yeah. Um, and then did the chemical peel. Mm-hmm. Kind of feels like she did you do? Acid on my did face. you do all the all the layers you or know, did you wuss out? No, I did three. I did all three. What did okay. you do? All of them. Three? Yeah. So she said while I'm laying there, she was like, I don't know like which one of you is the bigger baby. And I was like, probably me. It's probably, it's probably me. Uh, but she was like, we'll start with one. And then if you, if you want to stop, you can. So she did one and I was like, I'm going to stop. And then she was like, do you want What? Wanna- After what? Yes, I'm a bit burned. Oh my. Did you have the fan? Yeah. Blast that yeah. thing. And like- then she was like, do you want to do another one? And I was like, yeah, just do it. And then after do, I was like, I think it's good. And she said, yeah, hang on for just one more. And I was like, fine. I just. So yeah, I did all three. Definitely. You're the bigger baby. Yeah. Cause every time she's like, are you good? And I'm like, yep. Like I am here, I am paying for I'm it. Here. I want a new face. I was scared. I'd have and done a fourth burning. layer if but she would have let me. I will me. say, I know you said yours felt burny, like kind of. Mine, mine is, is gone. gone. Like my face oh, feels normal at this point. Wait, it, besides the the tautness. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is a bit taut. Uh, taut. Well, we Tight struggle with that kind of stuff because we have we have medical anxiety. Yeah, big time. Yeah. I'm having medical anxiety spiral as, as we, we speak. speak like, like, yeah, the, so the, the, do- I've heard from the doctor about mm-hmm. if you've watched the podcast a couple episodes yeah, ago, you know, you had I had a, an ultrasound on a spot on, on my your C-section. Yeah, I was going to say your C-section scar. And so they're sending me to a general surgeon to get it removed. And I was like, okay, I mean, I knew that was coming, right. but so then I'm like, but no one said like, it's this or that. So I was like, what, what is it? She and did she, tell you though. She didn't. It's f- it's fatty tissue necrosis. That, yeah, it's, or a lump that can form after a C-section. She did say that. Okay. Yeah. Don't reason with me here because well, I'm trying if it to was help you, you, you'd be the same. I'm trying I to help you. I asked her point effing blank. Is it concerning? And she avoided that question like the plague. Well, because so now I'm spir- like. Diarrhea immediately hit my mm-hmm. guts. I was like, I'm not eating today. I'm never going to eat again because I'll because puke. It's because we're not normal. I know. So, so I for know. a normal person to say, uh, well, uh, nurse, is there anything to be concerned about here? She's like, we're sending you to a general surgeon because for a normal person, uh, g- going to a surgery, it, like that's the concerning part. So like when you're like, hey, is there anything to be concerned about? I She's know. like, well, shit, we got to send you to a general surgeon. But in our brain, we need you to say it's not cancer. Yes, that is what I needed but her, her to brain say. But her brain is probably nowhere near that. Probably, because but I need her to be like, you're not going to die from this. You, ju- I wanted her to be like, not concerning, just need to get it taken out. And instead right. she was like, the general surgeon can tell you what need, like recommendations. And I'm like. Um, maybe because maybe you don't have to get it removed. Maybe like, I maybe don't. It's, maybe it's, it's, she, I mean, it could be I mean, optional. I know, but I'm like, can you guys, like, okay. I know from our generation specifically, there are so many people our age who struggle I don't even want to have this conversation with medical anxiety. Yes. Can doctors just be like a smidge like well, clearer? I mean, yeah, I don't I mean, know. It's no, just, because they've got so many, but I mean, I, I know. Will and to say, them they're probably like it's not like it's probably not a big deal in their head and that's what I'm no, like sure but yeah, if that's it was why. cancer they'd be like we're sending you to an oncologist right no they're not like they didn't mention biopsy like they're just gonna chop it off like I roll know. on I'm scared I need them to be like it's not cancer you should start every patient out with <laughs> right. like this is not cancer uh-huh. don't have a panic attack I was thinking, like, like, if I don't warm compress something at least once a week, like, I'm doing pretty good. I know. I mean, me too. I just, I hate, like, and you and I struggle with just, like, 
general anxiety anyways. Generalized anxiety, but I do feel like if someone could remove my medical anxiety, I'd probably just be a normal person. Me as well. With just normal anxiety. Normal anxiety, anxiety, yes. I I mean, me too. And I'm like, my mother, who doesn't understand, and I'm like, she doesn't Just don't worry about it. Yeah, and I'm like, that is Mm -hmm. unhelpful. Super and and impossible. Yeah, like, and don't you think if I could just not worry about it, I would choose I would have that done life that already? Yeah, yeah. like, um, what no, like, yeah, it's Ugh. if I hate, I'm I hate I'm it. always texting you or my sister or poor Kendra, and I'm like, <laughs> I know. Can you talk me off the ledge, or what do you think yeah. about this? And I have this, and I need you to tell me it's nothing. Yeah, I know. But Kendra and I, like, we have a deal. Like, she's allowed to text me or comment. Like, she'll, I'll go there for an appointment, and she'll walk in the room and be like, "Does my hair look bad? Does it look bad? Do I need a toner? Is it yellow? I, I haven't know. washed it in three days." And I'm like, "Yeah, this is not about you. This is about <laughs> this me. This is about me. Focus but on like, me." Yeah, we've got a deal. Like, you're allowed to annoy me about your hair if I'm allowed to annoy you about with, with this dumb medical bruise. I mean, I don't even see Kendra, and I still am like, <laughs> Kendra, <laughs> help me. <laughs> and she'll be like, "Oh my god." Yeah. Because I don't really like my doctor. I know, but like. I always feel like I'm bugging her when I and Kendra doesn't make me. I mean, I feel, feel like I'm way. bugging her too. But I don't I'm care like, though. I'm, I see Kendra enough to be like, I, mm-hmm. I don't help if me. She, you if need to she help me. Comes to your face with a needle, which she does. She does. You have the right to ask yeah. questions. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying to like, and I'm drinking an Alani, which. You know, gives you, me anxiety yes, on a say, good day. You shouldn't do that I when know. you're already like a little anxious. So good though. Oh my god! But I feel like they're not even that good. I don't know what you're talking about. I guess I don't know. If either. Alani I've not wanted to just it. send me all the cases, you would drink them and have a heart attack. Probably, maybe I don't mm-hmm. know. Cool. But I like Alani because it's just like it's just ca- it's a bunch of caffeine. I don't think there's any of the weird, weird, like, I don't know. Whatever. You in don't know change. what's in that, do no. you? No, but it tastes good. Tastes, hmm. I like them all. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I can't, I limit my caffeine because of the anxiety. <laughs> I know I should. I should as well. I, I have to. I know. Because the moment my heart's like, bup, 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 bup. I'm like. <laughs> dead. I'm dead. Yeah. We're all dying. Like, yeah. Everyone's so. dying can't do it no it's one I coffee one it. caffeine beverage a, a day. day before like supposed noon. supposed to stay under 400 milligrams yeah i know i do that i mean i should probably stay under about 200 milligrams i probably should too but i mean i only drink one cup of coffee but then if i go to i try to get decaf like starbucks, if I go to starbucks depending on the time of day or mm-hmm. how i feel or how much water i've had if i've chugged a bunch of water that day in the hard the hard stuff. Yep. Yeah. I am. I know. It does give me anxiety, though. Your mic's not moving. I it's don't. not. I don't it think so. Feels like it's on the floor. It's not. Anyways. Uh. Well, we got beat to death on social media. Yeah. Let's make something real clear <laughs> right here and now. What? About what? Which part? So we talked about... Wine moms being acceptable, but weed weed moms moms being looked at like they're drug addicts. And so we had this little clip that I guess if you're a moron and you watch it, you think that we're saying that when really we're making fun of the people that say that. Like you and I both would not pass a drug test for THC right now, correct? Mm, correct. correct. I mean, yeah, yeah like I, I wouldn't. Yeah. But. And then... There's Greer. Yeah. Um, and then, so, like, we and we don't drink. No. But never. we posted this clip that made it, like... The one M- little most part. Most people understood. If you it watched was like 98% the whole video. understood what we were saying. 2%, though, was acting like... We were we, judging yeah. weed moms. Yeah. And that was so not we got, it. The one lady was like, they're probably pill moms. Yeah. And I'm like, 
we couldn't take pills if we wanted yeah. to. We'd end up in the ER from anxiety yeah. over I'm taking like, a pill. We get prescribed a muscle relaxer and have to call the other one and be like, do you do get th- nervous about muscle yeah. relaxers? And do I'm you like, think why? I because your heart's a muscle? <laughs> yeah, I do. Like, we've both Don't been take like, it unless you have yeah. to. We've both been like, do you think if I take this, I just yeah. won't ever wake up right. again? Right. I'm like, yeah. So... That's I, I not couldn't us. take drugs at all, um, pills or otherwise. Someone stitched our video that I'm still trying to figure out. She if, never did comment back. Yeah, yeah. so um, she stitched it with no, her. No, she duetted it. Oh, duetted. Sorry. Wait, du- yeah, yes. duetted. She duetted smoking and going <laughs> making <laughs> to stupid us, faces. But I'm like, do, you and, do realize and put the, we're the saying flip off emoji on there? <laughs> yes, and I I'm was like, like, you do realize we're. We're agreeing with... We're, we partake in the gardening. Yeah. Like... Yeah, and we commented. I think you commented. I did. And you were and like, like... you Just I so think we're you, clear. Yeah, this clip is this. And, and she never... And then there was the girl that her name on Instagram, like her email or whatever, her user, I don't know, mm-hmm. is stupid high. And she said she doesn't let people with an underbite control no, her that mood. wasn't her uh, it was it was not actually taylor swift yeah but when you go to her tiktok oh it, it says said stupid, stupid high, high which yeah. is why i'm like sh- i think she's agreeing with us but she's she just misunderstood too dumb yeah to but know. then she kept just like being a see you next tuesday yeah she did so. say she said i had an underbite which yeah i'm like let's see i don't your top teeth are over your bottom yeah. teeth. That means you don't have an underbite. Uh-huh. I think my lip just pokes out a little bit. Well, I think it's because you went... <laughs> Maybe that, too. But I'm like, what? Yeah, well, I've Pay come attention. to the conclusion that... And we've gotten numerous comments on how dumb our hair is. <sighs> okay, like, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and go down this rabbit hole. Uh, so I've had every color of the rainbow me hair. Me as well. Me as well. Everyone. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of maintenance. It's a lot of maintenance. And for especially for someone that can't ever get their hair done, which is us. Because we're doing hair. We're yeah. doing the other's yes. hair. Yes. Like, yes. if you guys want me to cut back on doing your hair so I can... Do my own hair. I, I will. <laughs> so, I went all blonde because i have gray i went mostly dark because i don't have time because it's closer to your natural yes yeah i mean this is like a shade darker than my natural and before this for anybody who doesn't know i had lavender hair my whole head was lavender yeah and but i had to bleach my roots every four weeks and then color it lavender and i just is time consuming and i had a baby bleach toner yeah black yeah yeah and I just, we just, like, you color your chunk to yes. give it a little spice. And yeah. I have this like, just to break up the dark. and But we realize it's opposite. Yes, we realize that, our hair yeah. is yin and yang. Yeah, we like it that way. That one, I'm assuming it was a man. It sounded like a man thing to say. Oh, yeah. And he was like, did you guys use your 50% off coupon when you got your hair done? And I'm like, that's equivalent yeah, like, to the... Which one? Yeah, which one of us? He never said which no. one. Probably that's both. That's another thing. Why? Who? What are these people doing that are just like Trolling. getting on and popping off and then moving to their next video? Because mm-hmm. I'm like, if you got something to say, like... Yeah. Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, you want to have a discussion but about... But then, no, they're no, just like... They just like to be... Wah, 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 yeah. and then they go on. I know. I am, like, d- like, I'm fully convinced when they don't have any sort of argument, they all resort to, like, well, you're ugly. <laughs> like, okay. Like, yes. I don't understand how that's relevant to anyone. Uh, I don't But, either. like, you need a life. Yeah. I'm, I feel sorry for you. And all the people that say the meanest things, like, their profile picture isn't them. Yeah. They have no videos of mm-hmm. them. They mm-hmm. have nothing to make me know who they are. They're yeah, just, I like, know. the... Because I'm going to look. Yeah. I'm going to go yeah. see I'm what like, you're... oh, this person says you have an underbite? Let's go look yeah. at her. And Not even nothing. nothing. Boo. Yeah. Boring. Like, if you were, like, I don't know... Tyra Banks, and you said that, I'd be like, that's not nice. Yeah. But like, do I need dental surgery? Then I don't know it. 
I'm I like, don't think so. But, but I also, was, I also wanted to know who she was referring to because I'm like, me. I got about nine thousand dollars of braces <laughs> yeah. going on that I think I'll be wearing for at least another Ten year. Years. That I'm like, if I appear to have an underbite, I'm, I'm going back I'm, to yeah, West Rock going today to, to be like, listen. Well, I had braces for eight thousand years too, but I ain't fix. I don't have an underbite. She was yeah. just being a bitch yeah she was but then she didn't say anything like i'm prepared to like have a little argument but if you tap out i win i'm the winner that's right i'm the winner of this battle that's true and i left her comment up so she can just embarrass herself i will not delete mean comments Mm -mm. maybe if it was like about like my kid yeah i don't even want to think about that because like those i'm like i will leave up for you to look like an idiot in front of every person because that video got a lot of comments and views it did still like trucking along feel pretty strongly about the wine Mm -hmm. wine versus weed in the mom groups yes (laughs) i like the lady that was like nobody ever says anything about the dads and i'm no, like, that's, that's a totally a, other show. Yeah. Don't even a, get me started. You could do that show today. Yeah. Uh, speaking of people like that, not like that lady, but did you ever watch any of those videos on Pearl? Pick me Pearl. I sent you and I was like, I hate this girl. That's her name. P- Pearl. The, the, she the, looks like a Pearl. She does. She, the like, lady at home that was talking about her husband or talking about wives that lady i mean yes about your husband doesn't have to ask for permission oh yeah but she's not just at home like she is going on talk she's been on like all these talk shows like here and there i watched a clip uh i saved it for you this morning great just because, you know, speaking of trolling people. I was going to say, you know, part of my mental health is not watching things that makes me irate. And um, Well, I only feel that way about, well, this isn't loading. I have crap service in here. Anyways, it was her saying... She, it was some British talk show, I think, like a morning like news show, but the guy, I think, was British, and he was asking her about, like, political, which I'm like, who gave Pearl the, like, go-ahead to talk politics anywhere? But basically, women shouldn't run anything because we're too emotional, and she said, and I quote, I would hate to have a woman in charge, like, get her period and have the nuke button. Well. Well, What? I mean, there are days. There are days. I'll give you that. But also, During the like, PMS stage, but that we're, I'm like, we're you know gonna, what? I'll hit this button. But like, we're gonna. I sit wouldn't here say that out loud. You just did. Of, well, but I mean, if I were her, I oh, wouldn't be yeah, like, wouldn't broadcast it on a yeah, live news. I mean, yeah, but she's basically I'm all for saying, voting for a woman president. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, she's but, not. She right. thinks women should be at home barefoot in the kitchen with a baby on their hip. Well. You can't tell. This has to fallen. I'm sorry. And also, she, like, basically said women are illogical and men are not, which I'm like, "Mm." back back up. Back it up, Pearl. Men are just as, like, emotional. The difference is women are, like, we're, we're classy about our, like, revenge and schemes where men are like i'm gonna punch you in the face outside i'm gonna throw i'm gonna be morgan wallen i'm gonna throw this chair off a bar balcony hit a cop uh, ramsey did he really he almost hit a cop he got arrested and has like three felony charges because he trapped a chair uh, yeah i don't and that's care why i'm like oh, i don't like morgan wallen i do i don't but i ramsey wish he was stopped like, throwing chairs and being That's an idiot. That's not the first time he's been on the news for doing something naughty. <laughs> naughty. <laughs> True. Uh, Ramsey was like, so do you like Morgan Wallen now? I'm like, why? And he's like, because he's an outlaw. I'm like, no, I still, I think he's, he's an outlaw. I think he's he is a, a red moron. Flag. Yeah, I think he's an idiot. I mean, I think he's just got like good old boy mentality still and he's like i'm gonna go to the bar and i'm gonna get drunk and i'm gonna chuck this chair because i'm 12 Mm, or he has a problem i mean i'm pretty sure he has a problem every song he sings has he's drunk on like whiskey or yeah that's called alcoholism (laughs) that's the that's called alcoholism Yes. yes and then when you back it up by going to the bar and throwing a chair off the roof like yeah 
Get you every time. Get check out an AA meeting. Morgan Wallen, get it together. I don't think he can. Again, Clearly not. I don't know. Well, anyways, so um, yeah. So I would also like to discuss the the, the steps, the the walking, and the steps because it makes me it's bullshit. So. <laughs> We will take, when we were in Universal, we were, like, walking. We like, walked lots like, and lots of walking. Yeah. Like, 20 billion miles. steps or something. And, insane. like, it tells you your steps and your flights. And what a day to have a dead watch. But um, how I can almost guarantee if I've walked 8,000, yours is going to say 16,000. It's not quite. I don't do double. It was always a couple thousand over you. But it's because I'm like four inches shorter than you. That's not fair, though. What? Like, I'm walking the same Life distance. Life is a bitch. I don't know. And I, I don't know. When we were at Universal, I was like, huh, it says we've climbed six flights of stairs. And you're like, mine says 32. <laughs> like, it's because what? my legs are little. I take little steps. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm going to, I'm going to walk today. And instead of like, like I normally do, I'm going to like shuffle my yeah, feet. You're going to like. Gallop. And see what happens. Gallop. Because. Well, listen, on the flip side. To keep up with a normal human walking, I'm basically sprinting, okay? So, let's just look. What's the last day you took a walk? Tell me, I'll just go from yesterday. I walked almost two this? miles. Okay, well, so go to I, a day where well, you walked almost two miles. I went shopping yesterday. That doesn't count. So, I don't want to talk about that one. Okay, because I was at 11. So, yesterday, 1.82 miles. You walked. Is a walk. Yeah. And like I mean, I purposely also were like, I'm yes, going on a walk. Yes. Okay. The day I walked was Saturday because I wasn't home yesterday. How far? How how many mm. miles? Where does it friggin' show you that? Go crap? to fitness. Go to your fitness app. Fitness whole pizza. And Fit, that's. <laughs> some Where is my friggin' fitness? Just oh a second. My, my rings. People are gonna be like, you guys are stupid today. I don't care. Okay. I'm here. What so am I doing? Go to a day oh. that you walked oh. almost two miles. Okay. I walked 2.12 miles on Saturday. So pretty close, pretty close. What's it say for your steps? Mm. Oh, wait. This is only showing for my walk. It doesn't say my steps. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> are you are you calling me your mom? I'm just saying you can't find it. So mm. what about the if you go to the health app? If I go to the health app, it tells me my steps for the whole day. That well, that's day. what. Yeah, that's what. Oh. Let's do. Let's just yeah. do that. I but went on for Saturday for you, yesterday for me. I was at eleven thousand two hundred forty-three. Okay, where do I find that? Kathy, I don't know. Help me, I'm poor. Oh, so what was yours? 11,243. It says no data. Hold on. What is... Go to... It was yes, Sunday. Sunday for me. Oh, Steps. It doesn't say yesterday, 7,006. Here, take your dumb phone. 7,000. 7, Give it, yeah, yeah, but let me see your chart. Oh, it's pretty similar. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't, know don't what to tell you. find that to be fair. Well, again, life is not fair. So does that mean I have to go on like a two-mile hike or like a four-mile hike to? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe you take two biggest steps. That's what you said. Like, do a little shuffle. I'm going to do, do a that. Little, a little shuffle, guy. I'm going to do that and see what happens because... I don't know why. That irritates I me. Know. 
Because you're like, I did this calendar where I put in my date and my or my my weight and my birthday, and it tells you like it's a TDEE calculator. Yes, you so put in your it, weight, your age, your height, and your like activity level. Mm-hmm. So so how come how come our activity level is the same, but I have to say that I'm sedentary, and you can be like I'm lightly active. Actually, I put moderate. Moderate. Yeah. Uh, well, because, because if you're under s- eight thousand steps, you're a s- slug. <laughs> I don't know. So I have to so put like that I'm they, sedentary, or I have to walk like, more. Yeah, they say like okay, ten thousand to fifteen thousand average on a day. We're not talking like a random day. Like we went to Universal, so you can't be like we do that every day. No. But like your average every day, if you're like taking a walk and your steps are like nearing 15,000, like somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000. I'm not getting 15,000 unless I'm at Universal. I don't know. I get, I get that. But again, my legs are littler. My, it's my stupid. Maybe you should take bigger steps. I can't, I'm telling you, I feel like when I walk next to Cole, I'm like, why are you jogging? And he's like, I am going slow. And I'm like, I, can't keep up with you. My little tiny legs. I'm I sorry. I got little legs. I can't well, it, help it that I don't. you're tall. I'm not. Well, you're taller than me. Again, we've had this conversation. Like, I am small. I'm a small human. I'm on the verge of, like, not normal. <laughs> I'm so short. Like, I am. Like, you are of average height. What are you? Five? Five? Five mm-hmm. four, yeah, four ish, five ish. I'm five one, m- maybe. I say five one. I've not been actually measured in like since I was not a teenager. <laughs> I don't actually know how tall I am, but I say five one because five foot feels makes well, me feel bad about it myself. Makes me mad because well, you can get glad in the same pants you got mad in. Well, basically, I'm hungry in my pants all the time <laughs> because. <laughs> I, I me too. if I'm going off that calculator and your step theory, well, it says it on there, but like, I know. And what it's really not a theory, gets me it's just scientific is fact. like, I don't feel like I sit down all day. I'm constantly like, I'm either at work and at work, we do not sit. No, we don't sit. At home, I'm either cooking dinner, wiping someone's cleaning. butt, <laughs> cleaning something yeah. up, letting a dog out, letting Making a dog 800 in. 800 trips outside. Going to look for this doll. Like I know. I mean, me too. Getting also, some into the room for my teenager to just be like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, you also have to remember, I have a full flight of stairs in my house that I also get summoned to like several yeah. times a day. I'm also mm. not sitting, mm. but again, I think it's just because I googled like how uh, how accurate is an Apple Watch? Yeah, and you said it's cause less. First, than, you tried to be like it's probably not that I was accurate. Like, Maybe it's your watch. Just However, being a piece of junk. I don't know how accurate it is on the the flights climbed though, because at Universal, it you said we climbed like fifty, and we climbed like None. two. Yeah. I think maybe if it detects elevation, elevation. that it makes considers sense. it. And no wonder if we were on rides that was like, oh, yeah, it was like why are you flying like, yeah, up these yeah. stairs? That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but I also think like any elevate, because Universal, it, I mean, it's pretty flat, but you've I got some so, like, yeah. I think any elevation it detects and it's like, hmm. oh, they must be on stairs. Speaking of so. our watches and medical anxiety, like I have to turn certain things off on mine there. because I'm like, if it mm-hmm. tries to tell me that like it detected an irregular heartbeat, heartbeat or something, like I'll be at the emergency me room too. to be like, my watch said this. I had to just put mine away for a minute. Like Laura told me, she was like, stop wearing that watch because I my heart was like racy all the time. But then I would be like, what's my heart rate? What's my heart rate? And the more I looked, like it would Mm -hmm. just doop, doop, doop. That's how my blood pressure works. I'm like, I don't necessarily, I have white coat syndrome, but I Mm -hmm. have like blood pressure cuff syndrome. I'm not kidding. Like even if Greer has a toy one and 
puts it on me, I can feel it go yeah. up. And I'm like, get it I off. I don't like, struggle with blood pressure as much. Like, my I blood pressure is never high, except when I have preeclampsia. That and was mine only is, one time. Mine but. is crazy high, and they look at me like I'm going to stroke out. And I'm mm. like, listen. I got to get out of here. Just let me out of here, and it'll be fine. Mine is just my heart races, mm-hmm. like, into territories that are concerning Mm-hmm. But it's because my like adrenaline yeah, is like your fi- fight your or fight or flight. flight is just yeah. are you fighting or flying? I don't know both. both. <laughs> I just live both in that them. state. That's yeah. what I'm like. People who don't have just like general anxiety, like your anxiety and like, mine. What is that like? I don't know. And it's hard because like my mom always be like, "Well, what are you worried about?" And I'm mm-hmm. like, "Literally nothing. It is yeah. like a physical." sensation response in mm-hmm. my body i know and i'm like i can't explain it to you other the, than the fact i feel yeah. like i'm have run a marathon even mm-hmm. though i've been sitting mm-hmm. and so but then when you have medical anxiety you're like am i having anxiety or a heart attack it spirals. and then you uh-huh. give yourself more anxiety because you think it's probably a medical issue yeah or like i don't know how bad you are with this but like i'll have a cold or no. something simple and and maybe not a cold like covid for instance yes. like when i had that i was like afterwards like a week after i was like i feel like i can't breathe and i didn't even have like the coughing yeah. covid the coughing covid yeah i didn't even have uh, that yeah, no. but i it's just like you said and and who explained this to me oh it was uh like a therapist explained this so like a normal person will take a walk and their heart rate will go up and they'll be like, you know, oh, cool, I'm, I'm getting exercise. If we take a walk or th- if I go to the gym, if I'm like lifting anything or like Saturday, I was digging in the dirt outside mm-hmm. and like was a lot of bending over and standing up and bending over and standing up and like hadn't had any food or water. Yeah. And it's like 80 some degrees outside. And you just ripped off a lash, I think. I did? I don't know. Just smash it back on there. You're good. You're good. Let me see. My eye itches. No, you're good. It's fine. I probably rubbed chemical peel into my eye. You probably did. Now your eye will peel. You're fine. Anyways, I we I can't work out without it triggering. Like, if my heart goes up for anything, like me too. It, when it I'm is, walking, or like, do you have my days, body thinks it's anxiety? Yeah. When do I'm you like, have days just where let like, me be healthy. Like I have days where I walk and my heart rate stays low, and I'm like, I don't know why. And then I have days I walk and it'll be and like, it feels like a struggle. And yeah. I'm like, and it feels like a struggle, yeah. and you're so like, then this I'm is like, the time. I'm gonna die. Someone's gonna find me on the yeah, side of the I'm road. I'm probably having a heart attack as we speak. Yeah, no. yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. And I know everything can affect stress, anxiety, like Lack are of you sleep. getting sick? Are that you Alani. dehydrated? Yeah. Caffeine yep. can cause, but my immediate response is death <laughs> yes Always death is death. near mm-hmm. this is how i go yeah i've even been like i gotta walk home now because i <laughs> can't tell if i'm having a panic attack it's or a heart part of attack. the reason i don't want to take the stroller because because pushing the stroller makes it so much harder it. and then i'm like i feel like i'm on my 600 pound life trying to take a walk <laughs> and i'm like am i really that unhealthy no but it sucks because it's like we need to be in our healthiest state all the time or else we're going to think we're dying. And even yeah. then we're like, we're, I'm probably we're, dying. Right. From and I have to be internal. like, no, you're not. Everything is fine. You don't yeah. smoke. You don't drink. You're, you're not super fine. old. Like you this walk. doesn't run in you your family. Right. Yeah. You're yeah. like, it's fine. Calm yeah. it down. Yeah. But it makes it hard because like we like part of being healthy is exercising like cardiovascular health cardio going to the gym and i can't it is because a trigger it, for me I know, like i me cannot too. sometimes i just have to be like don't look at your watch although then i'm like i mean i don't really but I like do if some. i do like a bike ride and i'm like 
whoa, whoa. I feel like I'm dying and I look and my heart rate is like 170. I'm like, <laughs> oh like, my God, God, I'm dead. And that's when I'm like, okay, pedal slower. Like, mm. let's see if it comes down. Even though most people would be like, yes, I'm yeah, in my target I, I fat burning range. That's what I'm like. If my, my goal is to keep my heart rate as low as possible if I'm doing any physical activity. <laughs> yeah, because this if it is begins why you can't to, burn fat. This because, is why, because if it rises, I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why is my heart rate so high? I'm having a heart attack. And I like, have heart problems. The I'm logical, brady, brady <laughs> The logical part of our brain when we're not in that state is like, no, you're dumb. Calm down. Yeah. But then when you're in it, when you're in the yes. thick of it, you're, you're like, mm -mm. something is wrong. Terribly <laughs> yes. wrong. I need an ambulance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. I hate Pretty it. Pretty much. We That's, have both like talked about like if we... And that's what I hate when people are like, just stop worrying. And I'm like, do you not think we would both like I would cut I would my love foot to. off if I, I could would. live a normal. I would give like uh, yeah. maybe like from the knee down <laughs> if to we just, just never yeah. experience anxiety and just be like, again. We'll probably be fine. Yeah, I'll take. Uh, yeah, I would. I'll take a peg leg. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Too, I'll and that's so this. sad. I know, but I feel the same. And like, it is, it's just stupid that it people so are like, dumb. don't worry about yeah. it. And you're like, I would if I could. If I, it was a yeah. switch I yeah, could flip on an and option. off. Yeah, I yeah. would have done that when I was a child mm -hmm. and same. doing this same Because I also crap. had it when I was a child. You know, we've had this conversation too and I didn't really think I did, but then I talked to Looking my mom back, and I look like, back oh, yeah. and I'm like, nope, I have literally always nope. been And this, I can tell you person. mine was medical anxiety even when I was younger because I, mm -hmm. my sister and my mom played softball and I was too afraid because I'm like, what if I get hit in the head with a ball and like... Okay. Go into a coma or get a concussion. Like I didn't even want to go to my sister's games because of the oh. rogue balls <laughs> that, might fly that would off fly and, off and, and has hit, hit people in the crowd. Yeah. I'm like, that is no, no way for a child is, to live. Yeah. Like, why no, am I like that? I wasn't like that. I was. A, that wasn't my, you know, I mean, you probably, it won't surprise you to know my anxiety was like, getting on a bus by myself, which I very rarely did, mm -hmm. walking into a classroom alone and, like, I mean, that being gave, in the wrong classroom. Like, yeah, or getting on the wrong bus. Yeah, or, like, doing yeah. things I mean, by I myself. That. I had that, too. Do you remember too. when I was in the hospital with Carter and I called you? <laughs> yes, you're, when, okay, so you're in the hospital, mm -hmm. you've given birth to Carter, Carter's, your first kid. Carter's in the NICU. Yeah, he's in the NICU. Yes. Where was Cole? Well, because Carter was in the NICU, like I had a C-section, so, and mm -hmm. that was pre-COVID where you stayed like four days. They yeah, didn't okay. kick you out after like three hours and be like, you're probably fine. Mm -hmm. um, so you stayed like four days, but we didn't want him to take like paternity leave yes. until Carter came okay, home. Okay, yes, okay. So like, I think he stayed one night. My brother stayed with me one night, but my like last night there. Your family is all like kind of, you know, ready to go home. And so yes. they're all like, are you okay? Yeah, stay and by they're like going and home to get everything ready, ready for like me to come home. Yes, and, and though your, Carter's not coming home. Your family is gone. You're like, yes, I got this. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fine. mom now. I don't I'm have a, a choice. Now. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be okay. So I get a phone call. It's like ten thirty or late, 11. like nighttime. <laughs> yes. and I'm like, hello, and you're bawling, <laughs> and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> What's wrong? Because I'm like, you got this naked early chicken baby. Yeah, he did look and like so a naked I'm like, chicken. Well, I just immediately jumped it to the Carter. conclusion that something happened. Something was wrong. No. And it was, you're like, oh, I'm just by myself I'm and I'm scared. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm like, we'll just you're have like, a conversation and happened. everything's fine. Yeah. But. Yeah, I have no, like I don't attachment is issues. I feel like I have um oh, what's the not being able to leave uh like a god, there's a word. Leave what? People, like people that you know and like um never mind, I can't think of it. I don't it know. has a word. I don't even know what you're leave people? Yeah, like when you have to tell people bye. Oh. You can't tell people bye? 
it makes me sad. Like if I'm not going to see them for a long oh, time. Okay. Like, I mean, I, I can't just leave for the day and be like, peace out. See you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Not that. Okay. I just mean like. I don't know what oh, the word for God, that is. God, it's going to bug um, me. Um, I don't know what the word for that is. I don't is. either. But I'm okay to be by myself is what I'm getting I'm at. I'm okay like, to be by myself sometimes. some. Yeah. But like. I've gotten better about that as I've aged, mostly because I'm never by myself and I'm like, yeah, just so leave me like, alone. Give me five minutes. Yeah. So, but. I mean, I don't always want like to be by myself. I don't like to be like completely alone, which is weird. I am not a child who grew up in a home that would typically have like, I guess it's attachment issues. Mm hmm. And I've passed it to Carter. Whatever is, is wrong in my brain, that's Carter. Like, he wants to be like, touching me at all times mm -hmm. or Cole. So Crosby's not like that. Crosby's like, don't hug me. Don't touch me. Mm -hmm. Leave me be. I mean, yeah. she does her fair share of like wallering like any toddler. But yes. She doesn't like need someone to be in her butthole like mm -hmm. Carter does mm -hmm. with. That know. would also be Allie. I know. And Greer. I probably. think it's kids with anxiety. I think it's an anxiety thing. Because I mean, when yeah, I'm by that myself, that is when, like, the anxiety closes in on me. For sure. And when I have someone to be That's like... That's why I say, I I'm okay feel... sometimes. Like, yeah. if I'm having anxiety, I don't want to be me alone. Either. But, like, if I am fine, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Because Ramsey goes and does his own thing a lot. I mean, and I'm like, yeah, too, go ahead. Like, work like, and... Yeah, I mean, I don't... And it's normally, I mean, typically, it is nighttime. Like nighttime is daytime. The worst. I'm fine. Like yeah. a whole day to b not talk to anyone. Give it yeah, to me. No, but nighttime like, is nighttime when it's is, like doom and gloom. Yes. Why is that? I don't, like the sun sets and it just feels yeah. like every worry I've had for the day, like mm -hmm. smashes comes in you. the forefront. Yeah, I know. It is so that, sucky. I think that part of it is, um, I think we're vitamin D deficient. Like, Yes. Do we need? I go outside all the time. Yeah, no. It's not the same. Mm, I mean, yes, yes. it is, oh. but like we don't have it enough. No. Like factor in the amount Have of time we can't go a outside. Vitamin D supplement? I mean, yes, I think so. Like if you had your panels ran, that you would probably be under, under. what you should have for vitamin D. But then it's annoying <sighs> because if you take this. a vitamin D, like I think Negative. you're supposed to take Maybe something else I can't remember because it helps like it absorb. D3. No, it's like a you take something else because it helps it absorb. Is it, it like um like like a citric acid? Yeah, vitamin like a C vitamin C maybe. Uh, yeah, I have color on my shoe. Um, uh, yeah, because like think about all the the times that we can't be outside in the sun. I and mean, I know, but also I feel like we're out in the sun. You know, I will say though, my anxiety definitely worsens in when the about winter. October, like when we get, well, like we get through Halloween up. and we're like, yeah. yes, Halloween. Yeah, but once I Halloween is Halloween. over, I get a little anxious, yeah. but then I'm like, yay, Christmas. Christmas. But then that's about January all that gets me through. February the, are the, the mm -hmm. worst. And I'm like, like, I don't know if it's, I wouldn't call it seasonal depression, but I just think it's like. I mean, I would call it seasonal anxiety, anxiety for yeah. sure. Because like, I don't feel depressed, I but I know. definitely feel my anxiety like ramp up. Me too. When there's no sunshine. No sun, it's dark at four. There's mm -hmm. nothing to do outside. You're cooped up inside. Your kids are feral because they've been cooped up inside for like three months. And yep, every and winter, winters, I'm like, let's move. <laughs> yes, like February, January, it's brutal here usually. Well, it's not I even mean, like snow. It's like frigid, and yeah. you can't even like go but outside. But also, like we're in April, and we're just now getting like. Like 80s, it's 80s, 70s, but then you look at the 10 day forecast, we got several plummet. 50s and 60s, yeah. and I'm like, I don't want that. Hate, hate, hate. I want to open my pool and I want it to be 80s and I want to be like a lizard on a rock I wanna, in the yes, sun for I months. I want you to open your pool as well, like right now. I mean, soon. Soon, soon. soon, soon. The earliest we've opened it, opened it was 
COVID, the year that it started, because we were like, well, we're going to be home and we don't have anything to do. Oh, yeah. And we opened it and it was crazy cold, like not crazy yeah. cold. Like, I mean, Allie was working schoolwork I mean, on the deck in the sun in her bathing yeah. suit and we were trying to open the pool. But like the water temperature like cold. Memorial days where you like couldn't get in like the lake or the yeah. pool because it's like. 70. Mm-mm. And I need my water temperature to be 88. Just a step below like a hot tub. Yes. Same. I don't want to swim. 88 and up. Yeah, I don't want to When Ramsey's like, it feels like it's bath not even water. Refreshing. I'm like, yes, that's yeah, my that's favorite what temperature. I want also, I want bath water. Yeah. I don't really want to swim in. If it's, if I'm scared to like submerse yeah, my body, yeah. if I'm I have not to tiptoe in time. and like, <laughs> No, I don't want, I <laughs> don't want either. to get in. I don't want to either. It sucks. At all. My lash did come off. P.S. It's right it. there. I saw it dangling. Because I scratched you had my a dangler. eyeball and, um. I mean, you did get your face all rubbed today, so. I know. She did massage my neck and upper shoulders mm-hmm. and, um. She gets in deep. Oh. What? I was looking uh, at my notes because I wrote a couple things down, oh. but like I never want to be like, well, anyways, and like segue <laughs> into a weird topic. Did you see on TikTok that all the celebrities are undoing their plastic surgeries because it's accessible to us peasants now and they don't want to be associated with us? So they're like, never mind a plastic surgery. And they're getting like all their. Like their filler removed and their butts removed and their implants removed because like the common folk have it now. And we are trash and scum and you know, Kim K is above us well, with I mean, her vampire yes, facials. But is whatever. that a real th- that is that for real? Not the vampire facial, but they really are? Like who's they? So I don't wanna watch them anymore. The article is Kim K. Oh. So what's like she, she gonna do to be not ugly? I don't know about that. I don't think she's ugly, but I don't also, either. But I I'm can't just tell saying, because like, her whole like her whole body is fake. Yeah, which I don't have a problem with at all. No, yes, we don't have a problem. But no, I don't care. But I guess like now that they're now that it's so common for like just normal people to be like, I can get lip injections and filler and. But that's implants. about the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Well, you know, they can't be like the common people because they are better well, than us. So what are they going to do then to like set themselves apart? Like, what are they going to do? I guess they're going to gonna s- preach natural bodies again. Okay. I don't know. Just, I don't know. Okay. Well. Is that true? <gasps> you know what else? I, I don't know. That was not a long what? topic. I just didn't know if you'd seen I that. I haven't. I mean, shocking. I know. I like know. literally the only time I get on TikTok is to look at our TikTok. To see so. who's called us ugly for the day. <laughs> and told us we have an underbite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is way out of our subject matter because I'm going to like talk to the men. Oh. What? What? What, what is going so on with the... What's up, brother? Have you? No. I know if I said it to Ramsey, he would immediately know. Like, it's some person on TikTok, and his name is Sketch. But my husband will just be like, what's up, brother? And I'm like, what? And he, it's like a thing. And then they're like, something about Tuesdays. And I don't know that all men watch the same thing. They all watch this. Because I will say, Ramsey watches someone called, like, the silent stoner guy. And all he does is whispers into a microphone like this. And he's like, I got this piece of candy. And he's obviously really high. Stoned. And I'm like, Why? what are you um, watching? I don't know, but you doing that reminds me of ASMR. Mm-hmm. And if you want to know, I don't know what sets it apart for different people, but ASMR videos fill my whole body with absolute rage. <laughs> um, like the chicks who bite yeah, the candy. The, the, the biting things is the, like, like, but the soap cutting. Okay. That's not ASMR. I, the, the soap cutting is. I thought ASMR was sound. It is, the but s- they cut the soap into like a microphone. They've got it like oh. all chopped up and then they're like. No. 
Maybe that would be okay. I, I don't mind watching those. But it's like the people who wear the mics. Or when they smash the things and they watch okay, things some like. some of the smashy stuff I do right, like. Or me the, too. the ones where they roll shit downstairs yeah, and I'm like, you, when is it going to You wonder bust? if it's going to break. Yeah. And sometimes it like breaks those. immediately and you're like, you dummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you dummy. You knew what that you was going to break. You just rolled uh, that giant glass jar down a concrete yeah. step. They just are seeing which step it breaks but on. But the biting, the, 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 the candy. Chewing. And the, but like the or the small talking. Oh yeah, my. or when they it take gives me anxiety. The, the octopus, like something that looks like it came straight out the ocean. Octopus. And they bite them. Have you not seen that? It's like a slimy something. You haven't seen any of those? Like a mukbang or whatever? I don't like know what the, that is. Oh. But it's I gross. mean, the it's food grossness. people... I do get caught up in watching people eat, and I'm not I sure do what the fascination is. I don't if know either. If someone could tell me, it'd be nice. But like, I don't know either. I do like people that, I don't know, it's kind of sick when you think about it. It really is. Like, do I have an eating fetish? <laughs> <laughs> watching people eat? I don't know, but my sister uh, is uh, one of those people weird. that she doesn't want to hear anyone chewing because mm-hmm. she'll want to kill you. Mm-hmm. That doesn't bother me as mm, much. I say that. I say that. Sometimes it does. Ramsey has a popping jaw. That just makes me want to puke. And it kind of makes me want to literally behead him (laughs) if I have to hear it, like, while he's Uh, eating. eating. And I'm like... I don't know. I just... I used to watch... When (sighs) I very first got on TikTok, it was like COVID. That was the first time anybody downloaded TikTok that was probably our age. But... She's, um, I think she was like a teacher at the time, but her name was like Miss Frost. No. On, uh, anyways, I like watch, she did like, like snack, like trending snacks, like the pickles with the talkies, or she'd go get like weird fast food orders. Mm -hmm. And I would like, I would watch her videos for out. Yeah. And be like, oh, I want to try that pickle with the talkies and the cream cheese and. Mm-mm, that sounds disgusting. But if she ate that pickle and was like, I'm going to eat this pickle now. I would. <laughs> I hate that. I hate the ASMR I don't, stuff. I don't like it either. It is. It's raging. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I mean, I get people like it. It must mm-hmm. be something like. I don't know. I don't But know I either. don't do a lot of. Uh, I don't like auditory stuff. Like, um, you know what I mean? No, yeah. It's what, there's still lots of slime, slime ones on like Facebook Reels. There's lots of like the soap cutting, and then there's a slime like poking. Like, or I do like when they'll like mix, mix powders in or colors this. in with something, mm-hmm. and I want to see what color, what color it turns. It is. Yeah. Or the paint canned ones. Have you seen those? When they like throw it over and it like spins those where they like like lows like they have a paint oh, can and, and there's it. like a bunch of little drops like the paint will be like oh yellow and yeah. they like drop and then it mixes yes. and it turns like purple and you're mm-hmm. like wow oh, how did you get that purple from those <laughs> colors i am confused uh, yeah uh yeah so um anywho. S- speaking of teachers i saw there was another teacher caught in the car naked with a student naked did you see that here i don't know where it was let me see um i didn't see it but i do know there's a bunch of moms that keep going on cruises and leaving their children at home to like die which is bizarre what yeah did you not see the one that just left her she left her like one year old at home and it the baby like alone? Yes, yes like, like she went on a 10 day vacation and left her one year old in the pack and play and it died that's i don't i know she is going to prison though like a she married died. nebraska substitute teacher was found naked in a car with an underage student who then attempted to flee the scene but crashed and ran away in his underwear how old was this student? For, well, she was 45, and the student was 17. But let me just tell you, I, the, like they posted it on Facebook, and the first comment is a dude that's like, sounds cool, tell me more. 
And I'm like, why is why is it when it's a female teacher and a male student mm, that everyone's guys like, are oh, this gross is and cool. They're like, get it, young man. Disgust. And I'm like, you child abuse. Yeah, that's what she's that in trouble was for. A man and a seventeen year old. You girl, would want to kill you'd that man. You would want to hang him in the town square. Yeah, it's like effed. it is not talked enough about that women Mm-mm. do things as no. well. And I we've had this con- like. The majority, yes, it's pervy men. But how come it's always a female teacher? I don't know. I don't know, but it worries me. Like, I have a son. I have an 11 Stop year old. Doing that. Sorry. ASMR. <laughs> but, like, like, yeah, I mean, I, the, no kid is safe. No, female, male, none of them. I'm like, I mean, my kid isn't one that would be like, not saying, like, my kid would come home and be like, what the hell? Just happened. And you I would, think that I until think he's that. like a teenager. Maybe. And then if he's got like a 20 some year old teacher coming on yeah, to him. Okay. That was what I was going to say. Like a girl. Well, maybe there's some teenage girls that would be like, oh, my male teacher and think it's cool. But I think it's di- like teenage boys. Like, can you like I know, you know, all their friends are like, oh, you're getting, getting a yeah, cougar. So cool. And it's. But as a like an adult, we're like, what is wrong with yes. the woman? Like, yes. I, I'm not faulting the teenager at all. Like, no. it's never their fault. But no. like, ooh, I know. Can you imagine? Like, I no. look at like 17 year old boys now, and they look 12. Yes, I like, mean, they like, look yeah, in like our brain, ch- like, children. Yes, I'm like, now, I will that say is... there are some that look much older. Mm-hmm. But also, but she's not that. And I've said this too before. Like that is why I don't think young women or probably men, you shouldn't be teaching high school. There's not enough of like an age gap separation. It's gross. I think it's you're asking for trouble. Know. Like it shouldn't be. But a... also, she is forty five, forty seven, forty seven. Mm-hmm. She could be his grandma. Well, sick. Yeah, gross. What the? And on that note. Are we at our time limit? I think we're done. I've got more to say today. Oh, maybe not. Like what? I don't know. Oh, you're lying. I you mean, don't have don't more know. to say. I always have more to say. <laughs> we could film nine hours of us talking, and it yeah. would be this. And like all day, usually, every we're day. talking about nothing. nothing. Nothing that anyone yeah. is like. I know Cole's always like, "What'd you guys talk about on the podcast?" And I'm like, "I literally don't know or remember." Yeah, like it just. However, Dakota this morning was like, what are you guys talking about today? And I was like, I don't know. Ramsey asked that too. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. know. We have a book picked out, but then it's wherever we go from there. I cannot tell you. Mm-mm. I know nothing. I can't. You know nothing, I can't John stick Snow. to a. No, that's what me and Dakota were talking about. I was like, even if we picked like, okay, here's our podcast topic. Five minutes in and we would be off on like a, no. like a we're weird like, tangent. We're like the basement yard where it's like, if we were Lion King characters. <laughs> and he's, I would definitely and he's be like, Scar. Yeah, and he's like, oh my I God, no, would. you're not. <laughs> he's like, realistically, we're Timon and Pumbaa. I know. I'm like, that is accurate. I kind of wish. Like, they are. I want to meet the basement yard. We would be fun I feel together. like we are the female are basement the yard. Mister. <laughs> uh I do too. Like I wish, I wish I could be yeah. like watch our podcast. Well, because I'm we're constantly like, how do whales breathe underwater? And we got to Google it. And we're like, oh my oh, god, I did know. you know they have this thing called <laughs> this? And I like, know. do normal people do that? I don't know. Are I they don't, normal people? I mean, I think there's normal people, and then there's people like us. I've that decided, are, like, if. You're, but I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be normal Me either. either. It's boring. Normal people don't do this because they would be offended by the comments then, we get. Yeah. Cry. Probably. I don't know if I put deodorant on today. Good. It's just another day in the life then. Sweaty. I feel like I've had Dakota gave me anxiety. Doctor gave me anxiety. I give myself anxiety. You drank I drank an Alani. Alani. So I'm just like sweating and... My face burns because of Dakota. Anyways. Anyways, thanks for coming. (laughs) Bye. See you later.